What I wanted to show you today is how we take off a slightly knackered keel strip, one of the keel easies that we supply. All we're going to use is the hot air gun, the same kind of thing that we used to put it on in the first place, to soften up the keel easy and then we can peel it off. But not so hot that you're going to melt the plastic, the fiberglass, or whatever it is you're putting it on. It should soften up. Look at that, just peeling off. Taking the keel easy off. So leaving the sticky residue behind, but it's coming off quite easily. Working way along now. This is a pretty sticky process, so what I tend to do is just fold the tape out the way, fold the old keel easy out the way as we're going along. That's the protective layer. We're left with the glue and the scrim, which is the this is the loose material that holds the glue together. Um, this is still pretty tacky, as we can see here, and this is the really messy part of the job. So always stick a pair of butyl gloves on, or surgical gloves, or something, just to keep the cack off your hands. Now, um, if you look closely, you can see there's a kind of textile texture in there, like a weave inside the glue. So with a little bit of picking we can start to release this at one end. And what we're going to try and do is pull most of this stuff off, most of this glue off, in one lump. So it's pretty sticky. This is what we want mine to hold the keel easy on, but in terms of cleaning, we want to just try and get rid of this now. Okay. Stage three. We need to use some kind of thinners. Well, I've got a gallon or so here of a toluene based solvent. Um, acetone doesn't tend to get the residue off, but white spirit's a pretty good option. That's the uh, turps, your turpentine, your white spirit, that kind of thing. So, just soak a rag. This is again another fairly slow process. Soak the rag, keep your gloves on. This isn't good for your fingers, then it's just a question of rubbing away. And in time, not a colossal amount of time, it will just rub itself off onto your cloth. Have a fair few pieces of cloth just to ready to discard when you feel it's getting full. Yeah, move the cloth around so you've got a clear bit with the thinners on just to get the residue off. Yeah, but the great thing is, this keel is still in great order. Look, you can see where it wasn't, and it's scraped a bit here. And where the keel easy has been, take it off here. So, as you can see, it doesn't take long, that's five minutes or so to go from the stern up to the centre here. Just gradually cleaning off. A new rag involved now, just to get rid of some of the surplus glue. Keep soaking it with the turps or the thinners. And once that's cleaned off, you're ready for the next keel strip. And um, we'll just leave it blank, depending on what you want to do.